Hello everyone, I'm Chino Artaleza Cipriano and we're back for another episode of The Next Odd Creature. We are actually extremely happy to come across all our talented artists from episode 1 to 4, but it's time to choose our top 11 finalists. So we got the judges' opinion, the label's opinion, and of course, audience choice, and we finally came up with our top 11. And now, come and gather round You with the city Daming nakakita doon sa my bed And you know what guys, we're really excited to see and hear more from them. For tonight's episode, we will witness the performances of our first batch of artists. And since we have a new episode, we also have a new set of judges tonight. I would like to introduce our odd creatures, Elo Campo, Jem Kubil, and of course, we still have Kian Sapriano. Let's start! What's up? Ang ating unang artist ay gumawa ng kanta para sa mga taong minsan nang nahulog sa taong alam nilang wala silang chance. Let's welcome Claro with his song Para Di Masaktan. Ang 
Nice. Nice. Ano ako dun, ha? Uh, medyo parang unang ano pa lang. Parang unang odd creature pa lang, eh. Iba na yung pakiramdam ko, eh. Ano yun? Parang, it's very, ano, for me, it's very, it's very pop. Um, pero, alam, alam yun, parang siya yung kanta na first time mo marinig, pero parang narinig mo na siya yep. before. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, Ayun. exactly. Para siyang, paano ba? Um, para may pagka-80s na early 90s na Pinoy music. Alam mo yung gano'n. Which is super refresh, refreshing, refreshing, <laughs> refreshing for me na marinig ngayon na ganyan. Di ba? Um, para siyang bagong, lu- parang lumang bago, bagong luma. Parang ganyan ito nagsa. Pero kumusta yung song sa inyo? Ah, uh. Sa akin, nagustuhan ko yung melody niya. Mm-hmm. And yung how it, uh, paano siya nag-transition from all the parts of the song hanggang sa ending, ang ganda ng flow niya. Yeah. Tapos, um, siguro sa performance lang, gusto ko pa ng feels. Gusto ko pa yeah, yung, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels ka, nanggigiligit ako, lalo na masakit yung song. So, right. yun, yun yung comment ko sa performance and then sa song. Ikaw, Jim. Solid, solid. Uh, actually, the same sentiments with you, boss. And L. Um, kudos sa uh, arrangement. Grabe. Galing. Saka yung transitions. Pag-modulate. And, uh, yeah, I, I agree with L also in terms of the performance. But, most of the time, napansin ko sa sarili, most of the time, I was looking away. Ito may window kasi sa harap ko eh. So, parang, naramdaman ko siya. So, tama. Bagong luma. And, I guess also in a way, uh, in terms of uh, lyrically, um, may igaganda pa siya. Maganda siya, may igaganda pa siya for me. Yeah. So, yun. It's very, ano, no? Yun very lang. relatable. Yeah. So, very. Parang maraming makakagets. Diba? Nandito ata si Claro na eh. <laughs> Hello. Bro. Congrats, Claro. Hi, Claro. Kumusta ka? Okay lang po. Ganda ng boss mo bro, ha? Thank you po. Yeah. Thank you. Ganda ng control. Ay, ano naman? Kwentohan mo naman kami konti tungkol sa'yo. <laughs> um, I'm Clara po. I'm from Australia. And yeah, I didn't expect to be here po, <laughs> to be honest. It's, it's, I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. Yeah, yeah. get me, bro. <laughs> De, pero, Clara, ano bang mga ano mo? Anong mga... Parang based kasi dun sa sound na narinig namin, um, na-intrigue ako kung sino yung mga pinapakinggan mo. Uh, uh, Stevie Wonder? Because, blind. <laughs> uh, well, wait, Bruno wait, wait, Mars wait, wait. and... Uh, oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. You're, you're blind? Blind for up. Okay, okay. So, uh, it was really an wow. uh, inspiration from the start. Wow. Tapos hindi kalabutan ako. Galing ah. Super galing. Palakpakan natin galing, si Claro. Galing. Palakpakan naman natin si Claro guys. Ano kayo? Mag-unmute kayo at palakpakan natin si Claro. So, da- dahil na kwento mo na yan, ano ba? Uh, when did you learn? Uh, yung uh, Actually, how did the, this whole music thing come up? Uh, you uh, when I was eight months, I started humming, and then I started humming like more songs that I maybe I heard. So that's what they they that's that, that's the quento. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I just picked up in, uh, instruments on my own. Uh, yeah, um, I don't know if you guys know Perfect Pitch. I was born perfect pitch, so I just oh. have to hear something and then I know how to the notes. Yeah, and then, so. that's very inspiring, bro. So, bro. Makes you. sense. Makes a lot of sense. Pero so, 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 so Stevie Wonder, si pa? Stevie, Bruno Mars, Brian McKnight, so, stuff like that. Bro. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, pero paano nangyari yung lyrics, bro? Paano nasulat yung lyrics? So for this song, uh, <laughs> I was at the airport, was, I was going home and I was sad. <laughs> so I just... Uh-huh. And, yeah, um, that's on that trip from the Philippines going back to Australia. That's where I met my my now girlfriend. I didn't expect to... to na magkatloyan kami po. So that's why I wrote it like that. And then, it is what it is now. <laughs> yes. Nah, galing ha. Oy, salamat. Salamat, salamat. Laro, ha. Sa, salamat sa inspiration. Galing. I'd like to hear more from you, bro. Yeah. I'd like to hear more yeah. from you. Not just that song. Yun yun. Very intrigue ako. Si Bosky yun naman intrigue sa sa kung ma-influences mo ako. May gusto pa akong marinig sa ng mga songs. Ganun yung yung ano impact mo sa akin ngayon. Good yeah. job, bro. Good job. Ang galing mo magano, ang galing mo mag-keys. Thank you. Ah, Neb. Galing. Congrats, you, Claro. Ganun ka ta. Salamat din. So Salamat. Congrats, Claro. Thank you. Ang susunod naman nating artist ay gumawa ng kanta para sa ating bulok na sistema. Uy, gusto ko marinig yan, ha? Here's Kobe Silvestre with Sistema. Nakakulong sa sistema ng mundo Nakagapos, naghihingalong Nag-aabang ng pagpapako Dito sa mundo, walang nagpapako Lumaki ng may galit sa aking sarili Gang ngayon wala akong ibang masisi Sabi ng sistema, ako may diferensya Ako'y naiiba kaya trenato ng iba na Niwala at nakinig sa aking paligpikit Matang sumunod sa kanilang iniisip Maniwala ka sa amin, ito ang nararapat Kami nag-aisa, dapat walang naiiba Nakutubos na Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Solid yun. Energy. Iba siya. Tama mo, di tayo nakapagsalita lahat. <laughs> <laughs> Parang, oh, oh, 
Di ba? Oh, Elle, what do you think about it? Si Elle. Uh, mm. Gusto ko yung energy ng song, ng artist. Tapos, na-imagine ko nga yung boses niya. Pwede rin sa uh, mga mas malumari na song. Pero dito sa song na ito, bagay na bagay. Um, strong writing. Ganda. Tapos, headbanger yung song, no? Tapos, yeah, yun yung, yun yung napansin ko. And, Yeah, gusto ko sa <laughs> ganda na song. Yan. Ang yeah. asting, man. Solid. As in, doon ako, doon ako nakuha sa ano, yung pinupukpuk mo na yung, yung frame. <laughs> performance. As in, performance level. Like, yeah. it was on top. Uh, same, strong songwriting, man. Kudos to you. And, yan, tumatak sa akin eh. Yung, yung, yung feeling ng song nag, nag-gravitate siya sa akin. So, I, I feel, I feel the frustration. I feel every emotion of the song. Most especially that I'm looking at you performing. So, congrats. Congrats sa'yo, Kobe. Solid. Nagpe-play Most pa rin yung strum ng guitar sa... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oo nga. Ding, uh, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. O, baske. Yeah. Ako naman ano, parang uh, based sa nakita ko at sa narinig ko, masasabi ko na si Kobe. Um, well, una, I think malaki yung potential niya to be a good producer since tumutugtog siya ng iba't ibang instrumento. Um, pangalawa, I'm sure ang sarap niyang panoorin sa live. Kasi nakikita ko nagwawala na siya, alam mo yung parang tipong mad- malalag na sa stage na yeah. 10 feet, gano'n. <laughs> or <laughs> diba yung more tipong parang... Nakatakot daw yun, boss. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> joke lang. Diba parang pero nangyari na sa akin yun. But pero yung tipong, tipong um, I, I, I feel like he's the kind of artist na hindi... Kasi may mga artists na recording artist, may performing artist. Diba? True. Nakuha True. niya yung dalawa eh. Recording at performing artist siya. Tapos yung mensahe pa na sinasabi niya dun sa kanta, very... Um, very relevant. Alam mo yun? Kumbaga may... May sinasabi. Though, though, to be brutally honest din sa Kobe. Yung songwriting mo, solid siya. I mean, I love it. I love every single word used in the melody, ganyan. Um, kailangan mo lang din siguro piliin at mahanap kung ano yung path na tatahakin mo sa music industry. ba? Diba? Kasi definitely may niche market. ba? Diba? Pero hindi mo rin pwedeng basta i-expect na madidig siya ng lahat kaagad. ba? Diba? Parang sure. ganon. I'm, I'm not saying na, oh, you know, it's at the main, main market siya. Diba? Kaya sinasabi ko, kailangan mong piliin kung ano yung, yung path na pupuntahan mo para kung, sa, kung saan mundo mo ilalagay yung sarili mo. Parang gano'n. But, I mean, sa, sa talent mo, sa songwriting skills mo, tas isa pang gustong gusto ko sa'yo, yung character na binigay mo dun sa sa track. I mean, sa, sa recorded verse. Sa, para siyang live, di ba? Ish. Pero ang ganda ng character eh. Di ba? Hindi ko alam kung paano pag tinugtog mo siya ng live na ikaw lahat eh. Pero <laughs> ano siya, um, kailangan, siguro, ay, isa pa yun siguro na dahil nga ikaw yung tumutugtog lahat, ay, ay, alam ko yung pakiramdam eh. Kailangan mo mahanap yung mga tamang collaborators or tamang mga kabanda na papasok sa'yo. Kasi alam ko yung pakiramdam na dahil alam mo tugtugin lahat, may expectation ka na kung ako ya ako na nga alam mo ganoon alam mo ganoon feeling di ba so yun yung kailangan mo i-figure out siguro sa ano mo sa artistry mo na paano i don't know if you're the type ikaw ba yung type na ano pare ikaw ba yung type na collaborator or you really just wanna work on your uh, own siguro po for now i work alone <laughs> parang mas comfortable po ako yung pag nagla-live parang acoustic lang talaga And siguro yung oh, ano. no. Sorry, sorry. Feeling ko, bro, uh, one thing you can do is you try stems or 
y- basta marami maraming although marami namang artists na kita natin sa YouTube na you know uh they, they do this and that but that would be cool you know i mean you know what i i, I actually see kind of like Ed Sheeran if you were like more popish in terms of you know uh songwriting but your melodies are are, are there so thank you but parang ganoon yung ginagawa ni Ed Sheeran na very Ed Sheeran na ano Ed Sheeran na Bullet Dumas oh oh yun Bullet yeah. Dumas oh oh yeah. yun yun boss so ano yung ano pero sino bang pinapakinggan mo Kobe uh usually po talaga ano Bullet minsan pa si Sir Martin an ni Vera Haring so. 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 Haring Uh, well, dati po, ano, well, family of, ano po kami, singers, pero ako po yung pinaka, hindi kumakanta talaga dati. But, ano, parang, yun, uh, may depression po ako, so parang kailangan ko po maghanap ng outlet kung pa, saan ko pwedeng ilabas yung sarili ko, and I chose music. So. Galing. Nice, yun, nice. Yun mismo yun, di ba? All the best, Kobe. Salamat Thank dun sa kanta. Eh. Congrats, congrats. Galing mo, galing mo. Salamat, pare. Congrats, Kobe. Thank you, According to Darwin, he would actually like to dedicate this song to someone that he once liked so much. The song is all about the things he wanted to tell this person, but he never had the guts to do so. So if you're hearing this, this one's for you. Here's Darwin Navarro with his song, Jose. Hello, OC Records. My name is Darwin Navarro. Thank you so much for choosing me to be part of the top 11 of the next odd creature. And one thing that you should learn about me is that I write songs to capture a moment, a feeling, and a person. And these songs let me keep love alive. If it's already passed, even if he's already gone. Wag nang babay 
records. I love that. I love that. Thank you. Love that. Hi, Darwin. The... Hello, Fa. Hello, Darwin. Hi, Darwin. Nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet. Uh, I'm. Can I have a hand? But like. Question. Jem. Yes. Naging kayo ba ni Darwin? <laughs> Si Kaya nga, kinakamusta ko siya, boss, eh, kasi... <laughs> si Jose, kwento mo, I mean, bago tayo magkomento dun sa kanta, no, pati dun sa performance niya, kwentuhan mo kami ng konti para naman masaya yung kwentuhan natin. Ano nangyari sa inyo ni Jose? Paano oh, na mabot sa ganyang kanta? Uh, si Jose po, like, he was just a crush, so like, never, never, <laughs> sa isip ko lang <laughs> So isip ko na naging kami ni Jose, but like, never naman, never naman talaga naging kami. And he was just a crush that I really adore, like, nung first year ako sa college. <laughs> Tapos, uh, ang problem kasi, like, he was, like, straight. He's a straight person. <laughs> straight si Jose. So, like, there's nothing I can do, like, to... Really? Para maging kami ni Jose. So, like, I just wrote a song for him. Tapos nag-daydream na lang ako. Tapos nabuo si Jose. <laughs> so, parang sinaktan mo yung sarili mo. Yeah. Oh, actually para mo uuyo kanta. Oh, oh yeah, 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 exactly. Oh. Did you ever, ano, did you ever send the song to him? Uh no, 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 no. Why not? Ay, ito, when it gets released. <laughs> ito. Uh, <laughs> but like, basta in dialect. Ano kay Jose? Uh, <laughs> ano wag ka na kay Jose para Really good friends naman ako ni Jose now, so That's good. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Kaya, yeah. Kaya, good. Na. Kumusta sa yung ano? Kumusta sa yung kanta, Jem? Um I see. I uh, actually I'd like to hear more from you cuz uh the way that you actually express the song. That's the explain mo sa amin. Uh na parang, you know, I was just daydreaming about us here and you actually remind me of my wife. My wife does a lot of those songs. Keiko Necesario, by the way. So ang gara na parang okay. Um with just kasi ako sa akin when, when I when I actually write songs it's a different I go for a different uh path like in terms of experiences. Th- these are when I write these are all experiences and Sometimes hindi lumalabas yung mismong juices nun. So but because ikaw you're you're a talented human being you're just imagining and then you just write this beautiful song that you wrote. Solid for me the melodies were on point. So sobrang solid nun. Um very unique na ginamit mo yung pangalan niya. Yes. And <laughs> you should you should send it to him. Yeah. Yeah. Tayo ba? So, yeah, and overall, um, I love the song and I like to hear more from you. Yun lang. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Ako, I like you. Oh, I li- thank I like, you, sir. I like how, um, how you present yourself yeah. to the world. Alam mo Parang, ano eh, parang, nung nagsasalita ka sa, kasi, uh, just so L and um, si Jem uh, no na I heard yung track niya before yung sinend niya na track nung sa mga unang episodes and um, meron ka rin ano doon di ba may spill ka rin sa ah, yes. sa ganun ka ba talaga integrate mo ba talaga yung spoken words sa sa songs mo or nagkataon lang ba uh pag nagigig po talaga kasi before po kasi nagigig po ako like 2019 yeah. before pandemic and that's when i first started gigging uh-huh. and uh, parang it's better po kasi for me to explain my songs first or like right uh, provide like um an opening introduction para mas ma- uh-huh. para mas ma-engage yung audience thank so thank you thank you for that ayun po talaga yung ginagawa ko okay kasi ano eh i think that's a gift na kailangan mong i-embrace kasi hindi lahat ng singers eh magali mag-spill. Actually ako, yan yung parang pagsagig, parang oh, sasalita ako, yari. Alam yung gano'n, yung tipong ano na naman masasabihin ko. Diba? Hindi ko alam kayo, Jem, El, kung na-feel nyo rin ba yun whenever you guys perform live. Yes. Yes. Pag nasalita ka, parang yes. may, may feeling ka na parang ang corny ng lahat na sinasabi mo. Or parang, oh, it was after regrets. <laughs> or parang nalilip ko nila. Or nalilip ko nila. Minsan nga ako, parang pag tumutugtog ako, parang 
Tapos pag yung crowd medyo ano na, no? Uh, alam mong masaya na sila. Minsan, sumisigura lang ako ng mga walang kwentang salita, eh. <laughs> you remember that, bro? Tapos, oh! Jose, Jose. Diba? Pero, yun yun nga, gift yung, gift yung, ano, yung, yung marunong ka magsalita bago tumugtog. Kasi, mas naiintindihan nila yung kanta. Like, kami ngayon, the way we talk to you now, mas nakaka-relate kami dun sa sinasabi mo, mas na, okay. kakaroon kami na interest dun sa, sa kanta kasi in-explain mo siya. Diba? Though, though, um, syempre, a good song is a good song kahit hindi mo explain. Diba? Nagkataon lang na yung sayo is a good song, in-explain mo pa. So, yeah. para kaming kinombo mo. Diba? <laughs> Thank you. So, I love the I love the writing. I love your voice and um pag tumutugtog ka ba live may banda ka ba or may uh, just me lang po and my guitar. Ah talaga? Ah yeah. Kasi yeah. excited ako mapanood ka live. Sana <laughs> pag okay na lahat mapanood ka namin ng Thank live. you for yeah. 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 Pero mangkot ba usually yung mga songs mo or uh, usually I write um yeah, sad songs but sometimes pag uh, pag feel kong magsulat po na happy songs I write happy songs but bihira lang po talaga but uh, mostly po talaga ang sinusulat ko talagang songs English songs so like this is like one of the rarest moments I I share my Filipino songs <laughs> How so, many songs do you have at the moment? Oh, yan. How many songs um, have you written? Around 70 songs po 70? Wow. Yeah. wow! 70 songs? Yeah Parang I, I do this summer project po na sa akin lang. I write an album. <laughs> Tapos, I just wow. do it like... 70 songs, that's like a career. Like a 20-year <laughs> like career. 10 albums. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Diba? In, solid, yeah. solid. Lupet, lupet. Getting uh, nine more right? songs to go. <laughs> diba? Love it, love it. How about you, L? Um, the song is very catchy. I love your voice and yung energy na nakakommunicate mo through your voice. And um, sobrang na-amaze ako doon sa vulnerability na pinapagda mo doon sa songwriting mo. And the way you sing, the way you introduce ka your songs, I, I really applaud you for that. And thank you so much for yung experience. And yeah. doon sa storytelling mo, Yeah, especially yeah. Pride Month. Po. So, yeah. I think it's very, it's a timely story for Pride Month. Since yes. Happy almost Pride. all, yeah. <laughs> Thank Happy you. Pride. Yeah. Ayun. Salamat. Salamat, Darwin. Thank you, Darwin. Thank you, Darwin. Thank you, Sir Key, and Thank you, Sir Hassan. Thank you, Miss L. And thank you Darwin. to the odd creatures. Thank you, po. All right. Thanks, Darwin. Galing yung song. Ingat po, ingat po, ingat po. Ingat din. Galing yung song. May, may balik sa akin yung ano eh. Yung melodies na eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Solid, solid. Oo, oh, diretso yung kwento. Alam mo yun? Mm. Parang yung sinasabi ko kanina kay, kay Kobe. Para mag apply din siya kay uh, Darwin. Uh-huh. na Kasi si Darwin naman nasa pop side. Uh-huh. Diba? So yung, yung yeah. direction na pipiliin mo talaga uh-huh. actually very crucial eh. Kung saan mo ilalagay uh-huh. yung sarili mo as an artist. Diba? Uh-huh. So, ayun. Next song. Si Jose kasi. Naman. Now it's time for me to introduce one of our odd creatures who will be giving a short message to our aspiring artists who also want to be part of the family. Here's Jillian Saludes. Hey guys, it's me, Gillian Saludes, and I just want to congratulate all of the finalists of the next Odd Creature. Wow, I gotta tell you this, we cannot wait to hear more from you and hopefully to all of you guys after this. Oh, and one more thing, don't forget to keep on streaming my song, my favorite movie, on all streaming platforms. This is Gillian saying good luck to all of the finalists. Peace out. According to Instant Jam, itong song na to is about getting back on track. They wanted this song to serve as an inspiration for everyone who's fighting their own battle. Let's listen to Patuloy by Instant Jam.
kasama Jam. Um, gusto ko lang sabihin na yung gitara na kulay green ng gitarista. May gitara akong ganun dati. <laughs> ganun na ganun. Ganun na ganun. But, um, I love the vibe nung buong kanta, yung arreglo, yung, yung, yung feel, yung melody, yung lyrics. Um, niisip ko lang kung parang um, yung bang sinasabi mo na magtiwala sa kanya is it uh, nandun ba ako nandun ba tayo sa faith na side or tao ba talaga siya I don't, I don't know ako ano man ang ano but may nak- nakuha ko yung ganun na ang gaanong ang gaanong kanta nakakagaan talaga siya ng pakiramdam um, and I think yung, yung ba talaga yung tugtugan ng banda actually sir uh, consider our genre as a pop rock or alternative rock. Magkakaiba po talaga kasi kami ng mga influences. May pop, metal, uh, rock, hip-hop. Uh, and matagal na din namin hinanap yung sound namin. Uh, pero dito kami nagkasundo sa tunog na to. 
Mm-hmm. Kasi dati medyo maingay po yung tugtugan namin. Pero ngayon mm-hmm. nag-mellow na kami. Paano kayo napunta doon sa decision na yun? Mm-hmm. Uh, landscape. landscape. <laughs> I think sir, binagay po namin sa boses po ni Rika sa uh-huh. vocalist namin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ayun. But who writes the songs? Ayan po. Ano po? Mahina lang si Rika sa akin. Pati si Yon. Ayan. Mostly po kasi ng mga kanta po namin, um, ako po yung nagsusulat din po talaga. Mm-hmm. Doon po ako sa genre na yun, maano. Parang, anong, anong story yan itong song, Rika? Well, ano po, uh, yung song po na yan, um, last year ko po siya nasulat. Nagsagan mm-hmm. po ng pandemic. And I want to write po na something na Ayan, pwedeng makapag-uplift ng nararamdaman na isang tao or ayun, bring comfort po sa kanila. Parang gano'n. So, tama yung iniisip ko. Tama yung sinasabi ko na sinasabi mo din sa song. Tama ba? Oops! Tama. Sorry. Jem, take it away. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Rika. Tawag dito. Um, uh, unang-una, congratulations sa, sa performance. Um, I commend you guys for uh, dito, for producing, producing the not only the music but also the video itself. Ang galing. Saan kayo nag-shoot nun? Sorry. Gusto ko yung may matanong ako. Ganun, Mindscapes no? po. Ah, saan? Mindscapes lang. Sa ah, kakilala po nila Martin Dix, si, si ah. Regin Romeo. Okay, okay. Pero kami okay. din po yung nag-shoot nun and nag-edit. Nice. Pero yung sa sounds po, mixing, si Rigel Boromeo po. Okay, congrats, congrats, congrats for this performance. Then again, I think um, Boski and left off uh, sa songwriting. Tama po ba na, ako, ako din na, na actually na-catch yung attention ko dun sa lyric na yun, na magtiwala sa kanya. Tama po ba if you're pertaining to God? Is that right? Yes po. Nice, nice. Big and and malino yung mensahe. Yeah, malino yung mensahe talaga. So, Um, ikaw, ikaw boss, you wanna continue your... Ako lang, parang, um, ano to ha, sa, sa banda as a whole, no? yung, yung, yung tunog, no? Ganda ng vibe, ganda ng tunog. I just feel like, um, I don't know if you ag- agree with me, Ellen, Jem, I just feel like na overkill yung bagsak. Yung, tak, tak. Bang, tanana, tara, ta, ta. Parang, parang every time mangyayari yung chorus, lagi nangyayari yung wala sa uno. ba? Diba? Parang lagi siyang ganun na, um, it's, for me, as a musician, it's kind of bothersome sa akin. Dahil, parang, yung mga ganun, pwede mo siyang gamitin na pang special feature ng kanta. Alam mo yun? Pero dahil, paulit-ulit siya nangyari, parang, masyado ko nang na-predict alam mo yun, parang abang ko siya ng ganun. And, um, actually, Asan yung buong kanta, very simple lang naman eh. ba diba? yeah. Ang importante, yung mensahe. Pati yung vibe. Ako gusto gusto ko yung vibe. Papakinggan ko siya ng road trip eh. Bukas bintana. Alam mo yun, yung ganun tipo. O, oh, pang road um, trip. ba diba? Pero yun lang. Ako yun lang ang ano ko. Yun parang pinaka-comment ko dun sa, sa kabuan ng kanta. Na, na, na sobrahan siguro ako dun sa... Uh, sa bagsakan. Uh, yun lang naman. Yun lang naman. O, oh, L. Ikaw, L. O, sa akin, Ars, nasabi niyo naman na lahat ng, <laughs> ng comments. Um, very calming siya. Uh, tapos, very catchy ng chorus. Nagpe-play pa rin siya sa isa ko. Yung na-na-na-na-na-na-na. Yeah. Ganda yan. Actually, yun lang naman. Wala naman akong maidadagdag. Pero, I agree with both Sir Kian and Jem. Oh yeah. Congrats. Oh Jem, Jem. Yeah, um yun actually yun din yun nitatanong ko din sa inyo. Yung actually yung tinanong ni Boss Kay na uh, are, are you guys sticking with this, you know, ito ba yung genre niya talaga? And we actually hear the influences of it. Eh. And uh sa akin lang is um I, I love that, you know, that the message was of course brought out na and uh, it's it's giving hope to people through through God and everything and um I myself also also would want 
to share those kinds of songs to bring hope in this season, ba? Diba? So, sa akin, uh, yeah, tamang-tama yung sinabi yung Boss K. Very, naging distracting lang siya in a way, yung tapos yung bilang mag-break lang tapos ayun ulit. And, uh, for me, medyo mabigat lang yung instruments. Um, I would like to hear from you guys, personally, na strip down. Parang gusto ko marinig yun. Kasi, Rick had, oh, nabibigat ang kapag sa Like, may, I think, ako, ito lang. Uh, for me, I think, yung bosses lang, uh, for me, uh, the, the mm-hmm. instrumentation and the bosses are not matching. So, mm-hmm. I would like to hear the same vibe, but very stripped down na, uh, uh, parang, parang atras lang tayo ng konti. You know? Siguro in terms of paano, paano i-play siya. You know, I mean, we're talking about the performance. So, yeah, yeah, for yeah. me, I'd like to hear that more of her voice, more of her layers of her voice. And, it would be cool, it would be a suggestion if you guys all sing as a band. Yun yung naririnig ko eh, na parang may Ah, parang nasa ano, nasa ano, background ano, lang. Oo. Ano yung mga parang areglo ng mga 50s na song. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boys, parang Yeah, yeah, ganun. Ganun, ganun, ganun. Very Again, refreshing. Ano ko ah. Yung sa Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ano yung ganun? Yeah. Ano get? Yun. Yeah, and yeah. So, overall, uh the song was as, as good. It's just that um yung yung perform how it was performed, how it was ano um arranged i think uh may, may mas igaganda pa so yeah. yun lang naman sa akin na if you guys can try um you know giving way i, I mean nasabi yata ni prince kanina na we're na nag-adjust kayo sa boses ni Rika di ba so i personally yung my opinion of course hopefully can can also i mean it's just my opinion but in a way na you give more space sa boses na and that would be That would be awesome kung mangyayari. I'd like to see that in the future. So, yun lang. Congrats, congrats, guys. Then again, sa na-produce yung video, congrats. Oo, oh, grabe. Ang lupet. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yun nga yung, ano, yun nga rin yung gusto kong sabihin na para sa isang banda na makapag-produce ng content, um, quote-unquote content, or ng material sa panahon na to, uh, ina-admire ko yun. Diba? Hindi, hindi madali. Pero it just goes to show na gusto yung ginagawa nyo. Kasi kita naman sa performance yung nag-enjoy kayo eh. Diba? Doon nakamask yung iba, hindi ko nakikita yung bibig. Pero <laughs> I'm sure nag-enjoy kayo habang tinutugtog niya. Kita ko naman kahit kay Rika eh. So, ayun. Sana, ma, no, sana magkasabay tayo sa mga gigs in the future. All the best sa Instant Jam. Galing. Thank you po. Thank you, Thank you po. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Wait, tanungin naman natin yung Adcom kung meron silang ano, meron silang mga komento. Si, ano bang pwede natin tanungin, Martin? Si Francis, sir. Yan, Francis. Oh, parang... <laughs> Hello po. Hi, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. So, na patuloy po ba? Tama. Oo. Oh. Ayun. Um, siguro as a drummer, napansin ko rin yung ano, yung mismong ano, um, giging, ah, uh, pag ito, ah, uh, stated nung beat, nung beat, saka yung bass, yun, para sa akin. Yung word over, yun, parang ano, para siya, um, uh, sakto, na, sabi ni Sir, ni Boss Cake, kasi ayun hindi mo mararamdaman yung pag ano pag pre-chorus sa chorus parang mararamdaman mo na parang dapat ano lang high hat lang dapat parang close high hat lang tapos konting snare yung ganun um tapos sa bass hindi naman sobrang ano sobrang specialist parang ah, nahahanap mo lang yung ano eh yung yung um simple texture ng ano ano tawag dito ng pag arrange in a way na kung saan siya magiging better. Yun lang. Right, right. Thanks, Francis. Pero, Instajam, um, kahit anong sinasabi namin dito sa inyo, hindi nyo kami kailangan pakinggan. Yun lang din yung gusto kong sabihin sa inyo. ba? Diba? Um, 
ang goal natin is mag-grow kayo as a band, di ba? So just keep doing what you do. Kung meron kayong nagustuhan sa mga sinasabi namin, baka pwede nyo apply. Pero again, hindi nyo kailangan sundin yun. Um, kung ano yung nagpapasaya, nyo, sa, nagpapasaya sa inyo bilang banda, yun yung gawin nyo. Di ba? And I think you're gonna go a long, long way. So yun, salamat Instant Jam. God bless you. Thank you po. Maraming salamat po. Salamat, salamat. Sir Kian. Thank you. This song was written back in 2018 for a given quiz in his music class with the theme of one-sided love. And this song was actually inspired by his friend's love story. So let's listen to Kid Mendoza with his song, AD06. Hi, kid. Hello, po. Hi, kid. Ganda. Hi, kid. Hello, po. Ang ganda Ayop nung ka. song, no? Hi, kid. Ayop ka. Yan ang sabihin. Oo oh, nga. Ganda nun. Pasok ko pa lang nung song. Gabi <laughs> nun. Ganda nung kanda. <laughs> thank you po. Thank you po. Nalala ko dati. Gusto ko yung kulay ng gitara mo. <laughs> ano, L? Sorry. Ano, nalala ko dati sabi ni Sir Kian. Pag nagsusulat ka, uh, p- pwede mong isipin na yung song pwedeng i-play or kantahin ng mga naglalabas sa ano or mga nasa palengke o kahit sino makaka-relate din sa song. And medyo medyo nakita ko yun dun sa song eh. Very relatable, <laughs> sobrang honest lang. Tapos in, yung intro pa lang memorable na siya. Yeah. <laughs> thank you po, thank yeah. you. Congrats, ah, congrats. Tapos ang ganda ng storytelling mo. Yes, congrats. Turkey yan. Hindi so, ko sa sasabihin ko. Sa totoo lang eh. Ganda nung kanta eh. Oo, oh, ganda. <laughs> ilang, Thank you, sir. Ilang taon ka na ba, kid? If I may ask. Uh, 20 po ako nung sumali po ako ng late dito po. Tapos ngayon po 21. Nag birthday po ako. 21? Happy birthday! Oh. Ah, happy birthday! <laughs> April pa po. Hanap ah, naman yun. <laughs> hindi. 
Wait, saan ka nang gagaling? I mean, <laughs> saan nang gagaling yung chords? Saan nang gagaling yung mga... Kasi ako ang nakaka-capture sa akin yung mga parang passing chords mo eh. Na, uh, na yung smooth nung pagdala niya sa akin. Sa, parang, parang from one part of the song, papunta dun sa kabila, alam kong ibang part na siya nung kanta. Gets mo? Na hinatid mo ko dun without me. Parang parang subconsciously dinala mo ko dun eh. Hindi siya yung naramdaman ko na nag-pre-chorus or ganito. Dinala mo ko dahil dun sa mga passing notes na yun eh. So, saan ka nagagaling? <laughs> <laughs> yung mga chords ko po, uh, usually po, kinukuha ko lang siya sa mga pinapakinggan kong artist. Is, eh, parang, uy, yung parang ang ganda nito. Ah. Tapos, ano, ano kaya tong chords ito? Actually, hindi ko nga po alam yung mga pinagagamit ko ng chords. Pero, mm-hmm. ayun po, na-create lang din po ako na biglaan na lang din po. Ang galing. Ano ba yan? True story ba yung kanta? Um, uh, ano po siya? Uh, yung music teacher ko po kasi way back 2018 ko pa siya, po siya nasulat. Nagpagawa po siya ng quiz. Uh, so magsusulat po kami ng kanta and then yung binigay niya po na team, one-sided love. Hindi naman po ako makarelate ng time na yun, Pero may naalala po akong person na nakakarelate dun sa team na binigay ng prof namin. So, uh, yun po. Uh, tungkol po sa kanya yung kanta. So, ano siya? Then, parang yung... project? Yeah, ano, no? Uh, yeah, ako, kid, parang, parang project siya po. na. Yeah. Oh, parang activity. Na gin, yun yung may, may theme kayo. Tapos yun yung dapat gawin. Tama? Apo. Pinasa lang din po namin sa... Ayun po yung gagrade din. <laughs> sa music subject ko po. And then Anong yung title naman mo? po. Uh, 95 po yata. Oh, ano <laughs> Tapos, <laughs> ano sabi mo? Sabi mo yung title? Yung title po na AD06 po kasi, pero AD06 po yung basa ko. Sa ano po siya, code po siya nung subject kasi wala po ako maisip na title. Sobrang, <laughs> sobrang hirap po ako mag-isip ng title. <laughs> so sabi ko, ito na lang, AD06 para kapag kakantayin ko siya or kapag babanggitin ko yung title niya. Maaalala ko na uh, dahil to sa prof ko na nagpa, nagpa-quiz sa amin ng time na yun. Kaya ako na, nagawa tong kantanto ng biglaan. Ayun po. Ganda. Love the creativity. Galing. Jem? Grabe. Oh, di na ko masabi. Masabi na na lahat eh. Ni Boskia, <laughs> ni El, nasabi na nila. <laughs> no, so, ano, simple actually. Simple kasi, no? Simple lang yung oh, atake niya eh. lang. Very honest. Uh, that's what I would say. Um, it's uh, another experience actually so far sa mga na papanghinga natin. If, if you guys agree, di ba? Judges, na puro experiences ang na ano, na na-experience natin. Alam mo yun? Yung parang, it's a, this one is very, very uh, simple at the same time puno. You know? Sometimes kasi when it's when it's uh, simple, sobrang raw lang talaga niya. But this, parang yung, yung guitar chords mo, the way you're playing, as in, gusto ko lang i-comment yung guitar playing mo. Ang galing mo. And Thank it's you. tough. It's tough playing just acoustic eh. Kahit ako, nag-struggle din ako niyan before. So, oh. kid, keep it up. I love the song. And Thank you po. Thank you po, sir. Pasalamat kay music teacher. Yun talaga yun. Oh, oh. Thank God you bless po talaga sir. sa akin. Him, Saka, for, I don't ano, know. <laughs> kid, ano eh. Yung, oh. yung bosses mo rin is something. Yeah, true. Yeah. It's very distinct. I love it. Oh. Um... May tanong lang ako. Kasi natutor mm, na ako. Natutor na ako. Kung habang pinapakinig ako yung kanta mo kanina, kasi usually pag nakikinig ako ng song, lagi ako nag-iisip ng ano kaya arrangement nito or ano kaya ang papasok na pattern nito ng drums or ano kaya ang ganito. Pero nung pinapakinig ako kasi yung kanta mo, parang parang feeling ko hindi niya kailangan ng kahit na anong instrument. Yeah. Pero gusto ko itong tanungin. Ikaw ba na imagine mo yung song na may areglo, na may banda, or may ibang elements, or as plain as ganyan? Ah, okay po. Sir Kian, kasi sa totoo lang, uh, wala naman po ako alam sa mga pagpaproduce. Sa, ano, pero may mga alam naman po ako sa mga ibang instrument. Yeah. Naiisip ko po na lagyan siya ng ibang arrangement. Pero hindi po kasi ako expert pagdating sa ibang instrument. Eh. Sa guitar lang po talaga. So... Uh, tinatry, pinapatry ko po siya sa iba kong mga musician na friends, uh, sa mga gustong itry na gawa ng areglo, pero lagi sila pong nagka-fail. Actually po yung teacher ko, like, gagawa niya din po sana, pero parang hindi niya maisip paano so, niya papasok. So yung teacher mo nag-fail? 
Pinasabi ko siya in-fake. Hindi kasi po, pinatugtog niya po sa akin. And then, ang layo po kasi nung genre niya sa akin. Parang, yung prop ko po kasi na yun, uh, parang more on like rock siya eh. Tapos, oh. ang layo nung genre na, na pinasa ko sa kanya. Tapos, hindi niya po magawa na. Hindi ko po alam. And then, natatawa lang po siya. <laughs> galing. Galing. Yeah, solid, po, solid kid. Ay, may, may, may curious Ay. question ako. Para at least naman, diba? If everyone failed, sa sa ano sa pag-produce ng song na to. Ako, question ko sa mga judges to. Ikaw, Boss K, how would you want to produce it, the song? Gusto ko lang i-produce ngayon eh. <laughs> yun, yun, yun. Diba? <laughs> Oo. Diba, ako, diba? Ako, ako, honest, ano, sobrang simple lang. Yung tipong, meron siyang, may, parang may naririnig ako na mga kicks. Parang, alam mo yung very basic na palo oh. ng ta 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 pa ta pa ta pa parang medyo medyo bluesy ano kasi siya eh medyo blue yeah blues, especially the chords pop oh. na alam mo yung pero yung yung uh, yung tipong areglo na may mga ibang instrumento para kumapa lang siya pero oh. hindi mo naririnig walang nagsa stand out na instrument gets mo walang walang bida more on yung yeah. lyrics niya pati yung melody lang niya parang ganun Diba? Ikaw, El. If you were to produce the song. Gusto ko siyang... Hindi kasi ako nagpo-produce din eh. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. Sa akin, gusto ko si Simple Lo siya. Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm learning. Pero, siyempre, okay, wala okay, pa ako okay. sa... Yeah. Alright, alright. Sa, sa akin, ikaw, I, Jen, I, ikaw. I actually... I actually was thinking... I like to explore on it na parang... Uh, guitar... If it's wordplay na nga, you know... Pwede kong i-explore na yung sa, sa guitar, probably three, three or two guitars. Acoustic pa rin siya, I'd stay there. Tapos, layer-layer lang ng boses. Yun lang. I think that would be, for me, for me, ma, ma, mailabas yung mismong... Sabi ko kanina, diba? Simple lang siya, purong punong-puno. So, I think, ma, konting spice lang or salt on it would, would do great. Kasi, boses, songwriting... Guitar playing, the song is good as it is. So, yun lang. At malalaman mo maganda isang kanta. Kung acoustic pa lang, maganda na. True. Diba? Yun na yun. Thank you po. Galing, kid. Congrats. Congrats, kid. Thank you po, Sir K. Thank you po. Thank you po. Mismo, mismo. Our last artist for tonight is performing a song about the rejection of society's conventional expectations and taking your fate into your own hands. Let's hear it from 1-3-D with his song, TDGAF. You say you don't believe it, just take a look and see it. This is why we feel it. They don't give a fuck about us. They lie and they don't show it. We're blind and we don't know it. I hope in time you'll notice. They don't give a fuck about us. There ain't no rhyme or reason. The pain just slowly deepens. It's out of line, cause even they don't give a fuck about us. I'm done with acting stupid. We gotta run and move it. I'm on your side and truth is they don't give a fuck about us. They said I had it coming. Said I'd be good for nothing. They said I'm lazy. Try to make me something that I wasn't. See, I grew up with a dozen voices inside my mind. If I just screw it up. Then what's the point in even trying, right? So my demeanor was talking back to my teachers Never paying attention to constant underachiever Daily I'm sinking deeper Alert to one here to please Cause the power is in the hands of the person who cares the least Ha! But time to face it I gotta adapt to hit a wall I might be alone with cheering my name But I need to heed the call Cause every step in the walk of life Wants to see me fall It's time to evolve And be the man about to beat them all You say you don't believe it Just take a look and see it Cause this is why we feel and they don't give a fuck about us They lie and they don't show it We're blind and we don't know it I hope in time you'll notice They don't give a fuck about us There ain't no rhyme or reason The pain just slowly deepens It's out of line Cause even they don't give a fuck about us I'm done with acting stupid We gotta run and move it I'm on your side and truth is They don't give a fuck about us It takes 
Peace and I don't recognize the things you don't see Turn the coal to a diamond and grow rose from the concrete Took a break from the rapping Focused on paper stacking Stated I'm taking action Then actually made it happen I don't mess around I adapt to any situation That's why I'm only bound by the limits of my imagination Forget the validation A generation's education isn't over The moment you're done with graduation So shoot for hire Ready, aim, and then fire Assume nobody can stop you from anything you desire Cause we don't need them heathens Believe it, long as you're breathing It's all in your hands Work until you bleed and raise the ceiling Why? You say you don't believe it Just take a look and see it Cause this is why we feel it They don't give a fuck about us They lie and they don't show it We're blind and we don't know it I hope in time you'll notice They don't give a fuck about us There ain't no rhyme or reason The pain just slowly deepens It's out of line Cause even they don't give a fuck about us I'm done with acting stupid We gotta run and move it I'm on your side and through this They don't give a fuck about us Tane, Pion. Bars. Bars. Grabe naman. Grabe naman ba ginagawa niyo sa amin ngayong araw na to? Ba't niyo kami pinapahirapan ng ganito? <laughs> De, pero thankful ako sa inyo lahat, ha, sa lahat ng artists. Na, ah, gaganda ng mga kanta niyo, nakaka-inspire. Alam mo yun. Um, actually, si Carlo, nandito na si Carlo. Hey, Carlo. Hey, hey. Carlo. Hi, guys. Kumusta ka? I'm good, Hi, I'm good. Hi, uh, ganda nung song, ha? Oh, thank oh, you. Blown away ako dun sa track. Parang, Thanks. Hindi ako kasi mahilig ako sa ganyan eh. Mahilig ako sa ganyang klase ng rap song. Yung tipong pwedeng pang entrance sa UFC, yung mga ganyan. <laughs> pang workout, yeah. pang gym. Oh, okay. <laughs> may, may kumbaga may Eminem vibe siya sa akin. Lahat naman yata tayo na influence ni Eminem eh, di ba? Pero, I know, yeah. Galing nung, but uh, I just wanna know. Right. Ano ba? Do, do, you, do, you, do you read a lot of books? Or do you watch a lot um, of books? I do, surprisingly, a lot of people don't think this. Pero, yeah, I do read a lot of books. I only look like I'm stupid. So, <laughs> no, um, oh, I figured, man. I figured, I figured dun sa lyrics mo eh. Sabi ko, ang galing ng vocabulary niya, ang galing ng gamit niya ng words. Um, the, the rap, very straightforward. Di ba? Right. Hindi na, kumbaga, hindi mo ako binigyan ng mga triplets, pero gets na gets ko yung mensahe, no? At nakuha ko yung vibe niya mismo. Right. So, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I mean, I think it, you know, I mean, sometimes some songs call for yung triplet flow. Um, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's, there's only so much you can do in one song. So, you know, just right. pick and choose your lane. Um, you know, so I thought for that one, I really just wanted to really just focus that I get into verse uh, and specifically the lyrics and the message of it. Um, you know, um, just because I mean, I mean, I wrote it from, you know, personal experience. So uh-huh. yeah, you know, that's why you know, naging focus ko. and, you know, uh, it's, As always, yung, I, I do try to put a lot of thought in the rhyme schemes. Um, naglalaro ko yung, yung, you know, I don't, I don't want to just be rhyming like cat with fat or like, mm-hmm. you know, little simple rhymes like that. Like, uh, I try to have multis, um, which is mm-hmm. part of what's really fun for me when it comes to rapping. Um, it's really fun for me to write multisyllabic lines, uh, rhymes that was like, try to see like where I can fit them. Can I fit bro, in the bro, end ano line? Process mo, Carlo? Ano yung process mo, mo when you write your songs? Um, um, well, you the chorus first or may may verses ka ba? And then, or isang upuan ba siya? Or, you know, no, it happens in I know, multiple sessions. Um, you know, because I, I produce my own beats uh, uh-huh. for the most part. So, I, it's, I start with a beat. That was once a beat has like something workable in it. The first thing that I choose to work on yung, is yung chorus because I mean, without the chorus, the song is nothing. Um, not nothing, but you know, it's really hard to make something no, wala ka stick. Ah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kung wala chorus, so that's the first thing that I work on. Um, and then the chorus basically dictates the topic of the song. So from there, the, uh, that's when I go into and then so it's a very top down. Um, process um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. for writing. So, I, you know, and then once I have the topic, I actually, I'm one of the, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I outline songs. I actually outline them, like, kind of like I'm writing an essay because um, yung, 
my my what I want to do is I want a song to have like a journey from beginning to end, you know, from beginning to end. And then from each verse has like a start and a finish. And then the second yeah. verse is a start and a finish. So I out, it helps me a lot to outline it. Um, at one point, I want to be talking about this. At one point, I'm mean, talking about this. So and then it's just fill in the fill in the blanks now basically with with the rhymes. Galeng, ikaw el, ano comment mo dun sa song? Ganda na ano ang pagkasulat niya. And um, feeling ko may potential pa siya to to have more grit sa chorus and uh, how it's performed. Yung yung gigil ba? Kasi I feel the message no words pero I think right. there's still potential. May potential your song to be a real banger man. Um uh so for the producer I think there is still a lot to be improved. But right. I really like how you how you wrote the song. I really feel the message and I can relate to it as well. Yeah. Jim? Yun. <laughs> uh Carlo, congrats man. I Thank you. Kasi nagulat ako, nagulat ako na kasi all of the na napakinggan kasi kasi namin kanina was all like mellow, it could be like you know more of my acoustic na influence and then right. here you came in with with uh with bars and 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 beats and dude, you killed it man. I mean for me, um yeah, I I like to I agree with L um I think may masigaganda pa sa production mm-hmm. but pulido siya eh kasi pulido um it wasn't all over you know like um like some songs parang uh I really like na in outline mo siya um very meticulous tama tama ba ako tama ba yung word yeah basta very yeah. ano ka very isa ini isa 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 mo siya detalyado lahat and that's That's actually that actually speaks a lot about how I also write songs and um I appreciate that and keep it up man. I mean Thank you. You you, you have you have everything with you and I'm sure na I know I'm sure that you're get, you're going to go far with how you uh, how you produce beats and everything and actually songwriting itself. So solid man. Solid solid. I I love awesome. the song and the message for me mismo very clear for me. So Solid bro. I, I like the yun nga, isa din sa mga nasasabi ko kanina sa mga artists din. I like to hear from you also. So um mga ibang songs mo pa. Kasi Thanks so much, Jam. Tara studio mo, Ron, ganda ng studio mo. <laughs> Thank you. <Yep. laughs> really appreciate that, yeah. man. Congrats, Good feedback. Congrats, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Carlo, nagsusulat yes. ka ba ng Tagalog o purely English lang? No, I wish I could write in Tagalog. <laughs> um no, it's just English. Uh, ayaw yeah, mong, I you know, I am going to challenge yung sarili mo. Uh, na Bro, try mo. Gumawa at at umalis dun sa comfort zone ng I could, uh, but then I think like uh, personally speaking there's a lot more other challenges that I would rather tackle first before uh, that. I mean like, you know, production. I just started producing beats like two years ago. Uh-huh. So, you know, I mean there's a lot more uh, I'd like to get better at mixing, uh, I'd like to get better at songwriting. Um so, you know, um and really just capture my get better at the things that I'm already decent at rather than, you know, um, try to expand my way to, I mean, I mean, I mean, like, it's not, I'm not closing myself off to it, but it's, it's, it's kind of low on my priority list. Pero, I like it. Yeah, go, go, Jen. Go, Jen. I like how it was mixed. Huh? So oh, thank na. you. I like it. I like it. Parang pantay, pantay lang sa lahat. You know what? You remind me of my friend, Sergio Ramos. He's a, guitar player. I don't know if you know him but uh no, I know the football he... player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, okay. he's he's a he's a phenomenal player, guitar player right. here in in the Philippines too. Right. So I that nandun din yata siya. I don't know, basta out of the PH din nagtumutugtog din siya. He plays a lot for a lot of artists here also in. Mm-hmm. Wala ka ba sa Pinas, Carlo? No, I'm here. I'm oh, here in. Ba? Ano ba yan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I before Um, I was in Canada earlier on this year, uh, but that's just for holidays because my family's based over there. Pero um, so I visit them every now and then. But right now here, I'm in Eastwood. So mm, cool. yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, actually, one last question, Kikar. Right. Yeah. Um, 
an ikaw as an artist, as a rapper, as a producer, mm-hmm. ano yung goal mo? Ano yung end goal? Um, you know, the end goal for me really is to use uh, music as a uh, vehicle, like, or <sighs> use my song, uh, hopefully use my songs to give voice to yung mga inner thoughts of people. Um, you know, like, uh, uh, because I think, I feel that like rap has this, hip hop has this kind of, um, gift to to it for lack of a better word now to be able to because the the nature of the genre itself is a lot of words so there's a lot more you can say a lot more than a typical song and that's like you know i, I that's why one of the things i find special about hip-hop um so basically when i was young um and i discovered hip-hop that gave like you know that gave me a voice myself um gave me confidence gave me you know, uh, courage to stand up against bullies and whatever. Um, and, you know, hopefully if, if you know, my music could probably do the same, uh, hopefully, to some other kid out there who's feeling, who's feeling the same exact way. So, Yun, um, that's basically, that's basically the goal. Um, yeah. All right. Salamat, Carlo. Thank you, Sir K. At salamat sa effort na binigay mo dun sa pag-edit at pag-produce ng track. Thank you, thank you, thank All you. Yes, brother. Thanks, everyone. Congrats, uh, congrats, all right. congrats Carlo. All right, congrats, thank you. Carlo. Thanks. Bye. Thanks, man. Solid yun. They don't give a fuck about us. And that's it for our fifth episode. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next episode of The Next Odd Creature.